This is Kirk with Forex Trader Secrets. We want to talk about how we can control the market. Now, there's a certain amount of uh, risk in uh, trading the currency market, and we know that there's one thing for sure, and that is the market is uncertain and it moves whenever it wants to move. Now, the best way to overcome this uncertainty is to learn to deal with it. Instead of trying to search for the Holy Grail, just learn to deal with what you can control. Put the odds in your favor and get the uh, trader's edge in your uh, favor. Now, how do we do that? Well, we can control it by when we enter a trade, when we exit a trade, how, when we add on to a trade, uh, what we do when we win a trade, what we do when we lose a trade. So here's a list of some tools that will give us the trader's edge. You can see that on the chart, we have some blue arrows and some red arrows. These are alerts to help us to figure out which way the direction of the trend might be going. We can communicate with other uh, traders. We can do that through joining the inner circle at Forex Strategy Secrets. As you see here, we have the traders chatting back and forth with one another, saying the things they, they like and the things they don't like and the different currency pairs they're watching and different setups are taking place. Now these traders have all developed a certain amount of expertise and they understand how to trade using a certain set of signals and this makes it easy to talk t to one another. You can also attend the uh, trading room where you can see trading actually taking place and learn the best ways to, to use the indicators. Now, the, one of the main things, if you can pick out the direction of a trend and trade that trend, then you'll have a higher chance of making money in the market. If you're always trying to uh, trade counter trend trading, take advantage of every little uh, quiver in the market, you'll have problems. So you need to be patient. You need to wait for the proper setups and only take those high probability trades. Now, some things you can't control are you can't control the market itself. You can't control the price. You, you don't know when it's going to move. You don't know how far it's going to move. And you can't even control the things that control the market. Now, the, here are a few things that we can control. We can control the size of the trades we take. And we can control the time when we take those trades. And we can uh, control how far we let our winning trades run and how uh, short we cut our losing trades. Now, professional traders will take on the least amount of risk when the market is most uncertain. And that is at the beginning of a trend. You can see right here the market is going sideways. Right here, it's really uncertain until it starts moving. And so this is when the uh, professional traders will put on a little or smaller trades, even though they think it's going in that direction. And then as the uh, trade moves, they'll add on to those trades. Let me show you a couple of charts. Right here, I've drawn these lines showing you the different uh, things that can happen in that same period of time. This one moved about the same. This one didn't move much at all. It had a different time frame when it actually started moving. Uh, this currency pair uh, moved really heavily towards the end. The other started moving um, a little sooner. So you can see all kinds of different patterns and times that the, the market actually moved that same period of time. So the professional traders can put this to their advantage by trading small, and once it takes off, and then they can start adding on to uh, the trade. You can see many add-on signals here. That this is where they can really make their, their profits. If you think about it for a minute, this is kind of just like the uh, professional poker players. They add on to their bets when there are more cards that are being shown. So as the cards are shown, then they um, add to their position. And uh, depend on how good they feel that the, the uh, move is going to be for them. And professional traders do the same thing. They add on to their trades when the trades become stronger in the trends. When they get new uh, information from their indicators, and when new time frames are, are formed and patterns are, are showing. So what we would like to suggest is that you focus on the things that you can control and don't worry about the things you cannot control. Just put the trader's edge in your favor and be patient, wait for the setups, and once it starts going in a direction, add on to the, the trades. Review this video as many times as you uh, need to to get all the information. It's jam-packed uh, full of information. And we'll talk to you another time.